math time. Okay, so we're going to be looking at, we're still looking at two-dimensional shapes. So remember, two-dimensional means that it is flat, like this piece of paper, right? If I put it sideways like this, it doesn't have a side. It's flat. That's what we mean by two-dimensional. It has two dimensions. We can measure it going this way, and we can measure it going this way, but we can't measure it going this way because there's nothing there. So it's two-dimensional. And the two-dimensional shape that we're going to be looking at today is circle. Okay, so I'm pretty sure you guys know what a circle looks like, but in case you don't, these are opened circles. Okay, they're opened because they don't finish. They don't touch. We have a piece missing here. So what we're going to do is first we're going to close these circles so that they're closed shapes. So close the circle. And then our directions say to draw four more circles. The fish is making bubbles and bubbles are the shape of a circle. So we're going to add four more bubbles. You get to decide how big you want to make your bubbles and where you want to make your bubbles. So remember, it has to go round, round, round until it touches all the way around. Three. I'm going to make a tiny little one. And a really big one. Whoa, that's a big bubble the fish just blew out okay now vertices vertices are the points where two lines meet two sides and sides are straight lines in the shape on the sides of the shape so do we see any straight lines on these circles can i draw a straight line here no. So this shape has zero sides because it has zero straight lines. And since it has no sides, it can't have any vertices because vertices are the point where two lines meet. So if I was drawing, let's say, a triangle, I mean, not a triangle, a rectangle, my vertices would be right here where the two lines meet. But the circle doesn't have that. It doesn't have any lines, so it doesn't have any vertices. Zero lines, zero vertices. Zero sides, zero vertices. Say that with me, vertices. Okay, I'm not going to go through much, too much of this because you guys know most of this already. It says circles are two-dimensional shapes. They are closed. Remember, they touch all the way around and round. They do not have sides and vertices. So zero, zero. So number one, this is a circle. How many sides does it have? Zero. How many vertices? Zero, because we know that a circle has zero sides and zero vertices. Okay, I'm going to let you go through that one. Number 10 over here says circle the closed shapes. So these are open. You're going to close them. Or I'm sorry, I'm not reading the directions right. Circle the closed shapes. So look at the shapes. Which ones are closed? Remember, closed means that they touch all the way around. This one is not closed because it has that gap right there. This one is closed, so I'm going to circle it, okay? You're going to do that with the rest. And then finally, I'm going to read you 11, 12, and the hot problem, okay? Number 11 says, I am a two-dimensional shape that has no sides or vertices. Write the name of the shape Draw a picture of the shape. Now, some of you will be like, I don't know how to write the name, but the name, you can find it in the other pages. 
the other pages that we just went through. You can find it. It's highlighted in yellow. Oh my goodness, I'm giving you too much information. It says, I am a two-dimensional shape that has no sides or vertices. Ooh. Write the name of the shape. Draw a picture of the shape. So you need to do two things. You need to write the name and draw a picture. Okay. If you need to take a minute and answer that, go ahead and pause and then you can continue. Okay. Number 12 says, draw a picture of two-dimensional shape of a two-dimensional shape. Draw a picture of a two-dimensional shape. Write how many sides, write how many vertices. So are they telling you which two-dimensional shape to draw? No, they just say draw a picture of a two-dimensional shape. Now we've talked about several two-dimensional shapes, so you get to pick which one you want to do. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. And then I want you to tell me how many sides the shape has and how many vertices. So remember, sides are straight lines. Vertices are the points where the straight lines meet. And finally, your hot problem says, Majid described this shape as a two-dimensional shape with four sides. Majid is wrong. Make it right. So Majid thinks that this shape has four sides. This is a two-dimensional shape, but does it have four sides? Mm -mm. How many sides does it have? We know Majid is wrong. It does not have four sides. How many sides does it have? So we're going to say this shape has, remember to leave finger space between your words. You're going to tell me how many sides. It says make it right. So we're, we need to give them the right answer. You're going to finish that. Okay. Alrighty. So you are responsible for all of these. You're going to answer number two on your own. Number three, number four, number five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all of these, eleven, because I know you're capable of doing it, twelve, and the hot problem. Alrighty, good luck. Send me a picture.